I'm Dr. Bibi Sumerakinu. My project is on the development and implementation of a portfolio for undergraduate medical students. I did it under the supervision of Professor Muna Al Sheikh. The portfolio that we introduced was with the ultimate aim of creating consistency in training through feedback and reflection. The long term goals of the project are to make more clinically competent trainees, improvement in the health indices and improvement in the education system aligned with the SDG 3 and SDG 4. The aim of this particular uh, project is to assess the impact of the portfolio on undergraduate medical education with the objective to determine the undergraduate medical education and stu uh, education students' perception of the educational value of a reflective portfolio during the implementation phase. The method we employed were we designed a portfolio, we applied for ethical clearance, and then we introduced the portfolio to the medical students of years four, five, and six during the clinical clerkship. They were divided into two groups, group A and group B, group A being the case and group B being the control. This survey was then introduced to the group A uh, students. Uh, in terms of the results, for their personal development, most of them agreed that it helped them in their personal development by increasing their awareness of their strengths and weaknesses, develop independent learning, uh, value lifelong learning, improve their self-esteem, confidence, and develop the responsibility for their own professional development. But professional development, uh, the students strongly agree that the use of portfolio enhances the ability to link theory to practice, help them identify areas where their knowledge and skills is good and where they are weak. It also helped them to promote their critical thinking and enhance their effective skills. Some general statements were that 88% of the students believe that the portfolio as a formative assessment tool would increase their learning value. 30% on another note said that it caused anxiety because they had to chase the clinical supervisors.